All right, what's up, everybody? So this weekend, my little project was to build a UI, a web UI for Docker, and so um, I just completed this right now, and I thought I'd show it off. So uh, if you're watching this, you probably already know what Docker is. All right, so a couple goals I had was to make this UI be able to be hosted from anywhere. So it's a pure HTML and JavaScript front end. There's zero dependencies. Um, I'm just running this thing uh, off the file system with this simple server looking at the files and everything. So this can be hosted anywhere. Uh, you can do whatever with it. There's no dependencies. It's just HTML files and the different assets. Okay, so here it is. It's built on top of uh, Angular JS. It's really awesome. I wanted to learn Angular, so I built this with it. So on the home page, I really don't know what to have right here. Um, probably when I have a little more time, I just want to get most of the features out. So maybe a little dashboard interface here with uh, the latest stuff. But uh, right now, this is what it looks like. Uh, we can go to settings and get the docker information so I'm running 4.0 uh, the commit version if I was if I built it off a of commit um, the go version and then uh, some stats so all my containers go routines blah 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 and you can update your authentication information for the repositories here okay so if we go to containers we can by default, it shows our uh, running containers. So I have this one that's up 10 minutes, and we have these nice badges over here. This one's Ghost. If I want to display all the containers, I just click this, and here they are. And this app's really quick. So what we can do is, this is the container ID, then we have an image ID. So I can go here and look at this container. We can start, stop, kill it see the ID, when it was created, uh, the path that's running at, the arguments. So this is running Sentry, and then um, th what image it is. And this is the file system changes down here. So we can refresh that if there's any changes in our state. So if we wanted to see the image that was used, we can click on image and see its parent, what containers using this image, uh, host name and all that jazz. Um, it'll also show you the full history of this image so we can see I use a docker file to build this thing up and we can tag it in a repo we can launch a new container from this image and we can remove the image. So before we do anything let's go to images here and we can see all the images. Uh, if they have tags or repositories, you'll see that. A lot of these I was just screwing around with. But uh, you can see all that. You can easily browse, look at everything. Uh, pretty much everything you need right now. So let's go back to containers and uncheck this. I only want to see what's running. So this container here is running Sentry, it's up, so I'll stop this and go back to containers, let's refresh it, and there we go, it stopped. So we want to restart that again. So there's two ways, it looks like it had a rough exit, but we can go back in there, hit start, container started, go back to containers. And then we can see up two seconds, up four seconds. That works. So let's go back in here and stop this. We should see a uh, status message once once this gets stopped. All right. And let's remove this. Okay. Container removed. We can go back. So now we want to. Uh, me. Oh man. Okay, so now we want to launch a container from an image. So this is the reddest one. Um, I want that sentry image. Nope. 
Oh man, I should have remembered what it was. What the image was. Um, damn it. Anyway, let's go back to containers. We have this Redis server. So let's make sure we remember this image. Alright, let's kill this thing. Go to containers. We have nothing running. So here's the image that has Redis on it. So because we don't have a container, we had to kill it because it was a ghost. We can just come down here. If there was any commands or anything, we could type that in. Alright. But since this uh, came from a uh, Docker file, it already has a command built in. So we can see that here. So all we have to do is hit launch. And within a few seconds, let's hit refresh or changes. We can see that. And we've already got this container running. So go to containers, and there it is. We launched, we created a new container from an image and launched it all in the UI. So that's all I have right now. Uh, it's on GitHub. Uh, let me find this. Under my account, Docker UI. Uh, I just push some stuff here. It's under MIT license, so very open. And uh, I'm looking for people to help out, start adding more features, and just keep this up with the Docker uh, remote API changes. There is a few things. Um, Docker doesn't support uh, cores requests, cross-origin requests, so I have an open uh, pull request um, on Docker now adding that. So uh, you can go to my GitHub, and if you need to make a cross-origin request uh, on my account, you can check out my Docker branch and do a build if you want to play with it. Uh, the, the branch is cores, C-O-R-S. And this has all the cross-origin request uh, work on it. Okay, so let me know what you think. Thanks.